Hey, Dick the Diver here. More in the series on the TG5 camera, the Olympus TG5 camera and PTO58 housing. Okay, now we're going to talk about the housing and what it does. So we've got the camera in the housing right here, and the camera has a lot more settings this year than before. Now we're going to talk about the housing, but the housing makes lets you access all these things. On the top of the camera, there's a ring, an exposure compensation ring. Okay, that's really, really important. Uh, all of the settings uh, on the camera are right here and here. A lot of technical little things that are kind of hard to hit with your fingers when it's on the camera. But trust me, it's a lot easier in the housing, believe it or not. So it's really easy to access all of these controls. And it tells you what you're doing in the screen. It really is pretty easy. Or you can set it on automatic and don't worry about it. So I'll put the camera in here and you can see all these buttons right here. And then a little little rubber thing right here that rubs on this uh, exposure ring up here. Even has a thing where you right here that hits a knob over here that lets you uh, geo-track your pictures. You can, I don't think it works underwater, but you can put GPS tracking on your pictures, know exactly where you were. So, let's close it up. Now, we'll talk next video about how to service this camera. But there's a notch for this to go into, and when you push down on it, it starts rotating this lockdown knob. So you turn that, and it pulls it in pretty tight and has a solid lock. It will not come undone because there's an unlocking button right here. Then you take this button and lock it over, and this one won't work. So there's really no chance this is going to come undone in the water. It is so well thought out that it's a, I don't think you could do anything to make it come open in the water without actually unlocking everything and doing it on purpose. Okay, so this is the knob for the geo tracking. This is the knob for the exposure control. Here we have the zoom and the wide angle and telephoto. This is the shutter button right here. This is the on off button. And this changes your modes, which is real important. This button lets you look at what you just took over again. And I have the preview button set on uh, two seconds. So after I take a picture, I can see it for two seconds. I can override it by taking another picture. Okay, so all these, this is your flash, but it also navigates through the menu. This is the actual menu, but if you don't understand all of the things on the, on the camera, they're all accessible through here. Then it's really well thought up. If this place is for your thumb, this, your finger like this, then you got a a holder here for your fingers. Now, they send a, a funky little lanyard with it, but I, I made a better lanyard. Now, they give you this little hole to put it on, but you never want to take this underwater without it securely fastened to your arm. Because if you drop it, it could be gone, especially if you were in really deep water. So, this is a sun shade for the housing, and it's very flexible. And if it does come off, it's tethered on also. Really good deal. And easy to get back on even in the water. It just sort of stretches on there like that. I never, it's never come off on me. There's a cold shoe up here if you want to fasten some kind of a light, like a, a, a video light or a flashlight or an aiming light or something, you can fasten it up here. Or some people even put a GoPro up here. They have a second camera with them. So this is the basic housing for this camera. Now you might notice right here, there, there is a place for the flash to come through to take flash pictures. 
but it, it won't work underwater. It really doesn't. You'd have to be very, very close for this to do anything. So right here is something that comes in the box. There's a little plastic thing that clips on over here. And this is how you connect a flash gun to it. And it uses a fiber optic cable to trigger the flash gun. So when the flash goes off, the light goes through the cable and triggers the flash gun. It's really simple. There's no plugs to leak when you hook up a flash gun to it. So this is the housing and the camera in a nutshell. Uh, really well thought of, very rugged and durable. Everything's protected well and you will like it. If you're going to take it underwater very much, you must have the housing to go with it. Okay, this is it on the TG5 and the housing. Uh, the next one we're going to service, teach you how to service the O-rings and the camera and the housing to make sure you have a successful dive. Okay. Dick the Diver, out.